We need to talk about Hex OS. Welcome back to The Raid Room. For those aren't aware, this is our series of videos where it is just you and me, no B-roll, no cuts, no real script. It's just us chewing the fat over the latest subjects in storage. And today I wanna to talk about Hex OS. You know, Hex OS is basically, at least in terms of public availability, about a year old at this point. And one year on from its initial launch and maybe about 18 to 20 months from its public um, kind of reveal, it has to be said that HexOS hasn't exactly been super speedy in terms of development. Now, for a lot of us, that's fine. We're looking for something stable. We're looking for something robust. But I think there are users that either back this during that initial uh, Black Friday $99 deal or those that have paid $199 during the beta development or are looking at the $299, uh, $299 price tag that it's going to be rolling out with and going, hmm, I'm not so sure. And today we're going to talk about, in the last year, what they've done right and at least as far as my opinion is concerned, what they've done wrong. Some of this stuff, by the way, come down to public perception. And before we even get into the pro, con, good, bad, or whatever, I do think, even though I've made multiple videos about this alongside other people as well, I think, it, I think myself included, have made something of a boo-boo when it has come to presenting that price tag. And I, I do think it's worth discussing that as well. And that is, whenever I refer to HexOS, when we were looking at the Q2 and Q3 updates and the initial reveal, I kept talking about the price tag like that is what you are, you are paying that money and that's what you're getting now. But realistically, it, it, it just isn't because when you are paying for that lifetime license, arguably it is an ever evolving product. And although it doesn't seem especially fair, we have to at least acknowledge that that money we pay up front is actually for the continued development of this. I've not sent this video, by the way, to um, John over at HexOS or no one involved indeed at HexOS or TrueNAS. This is the first time they're watching it as much as you are. But I do think in hindsight, whenever I spoke about the price tag of HexOS, I think I have to at least acknowledge that that price tag is not for a static ready out the box thing. It is a uh, platform that is developing over time and that price point has to be reflective of that, good or bad. And I think a lot of us have to look at that price in that lens as well. Now, moving on to what they've done right, I do think based on what they said they were going to do, they, they didn't over promise from what I could see in the original presentations of HexOS um, during uh, 18 to 20 months ago. And then again, when it became available, they were trying to provide an easy, UI on top of TrueNAS. And that seems to be what they're going towards there. It is improving in terms of its uh, usability and responsiveness and latency there. I would argue they have improved some of the UI with the activity cards and they have done a really, really good job, I would say, of making setting up a TrueNAS system a great deal easier. There are bells and whistles on things they could do. A much easier uh, USB image creation tool would be nice. I think, again, we'll get onto some of the negatives later on, but at least in terms of the presentation of HexOS as an overlay and a layer on top of TrueNAS, as well as the development of the forums and the responses on the forums and the development of the knowledge base, that sort of thing, have been really, really good. And I think if anything, they have doubled down on that stuff and doubled down towards that end user who is looking for something chewable and user-friendly, but still as resilient, robust, and reliant as a TrueNAS platform is trying to be there in the back end. Now, the next thing they've worked on, I would argue, to their credit, is rolling in updates and alignment with TrueNAS. That was always going to be a massive hurdle for them because they kind of have got a cat and mouse situation there with regards to large scale TrueNAS updates. When you do update your TrueNAS system, you're going to need to know that HexOS is running in parity with it. They can't over. Um, uh, program without it potentially being undone or broken by a larger scale TrueNAS update. So HexOS, very early doors, it was became clear that not only were they aligning themselves with the development of TrueNAS core updates, uh, TrueNAS scale updates, I should say, which is expected, but also things like one click updating of individual application. Updating HexOS conveniently with the one click is all integrated in there really, really well. And I think now they're nailing down those fundamentals, nailing down the pathways with regards to one-click installations, uh, the pathways to different folder conf um, uh, configurations. It's all pretty darn good and arguably exactly what they were promising early doors for this. Indeed, 
In that regard, they are still delivering one year on since the availability of these two lots of users. However, we can't ignore the fact that in the last year, there's still no client tool. It's still only accessible via a web GUI. There isn't a lot of apps currently available. There's no native file explorer. And ultimately, even if you take on board that the price tag of $99 or $199 or eventually $299 is for a long running evolving product uh, in the long run, there's still no avoiding that in terms of feature set, there has been very little development. And end users who are looking at this platform as a chewable, easy to access entry point into the world of TrueNAS, are gonna find this very lacking compared to a number of other um, free alternatives in the market right now. One of the one of those I talked about a while ago was Zimmer OS. Now Zimmer OS, you know, let's be honest, it is completely free. It's not exactly high end, it's not an Unraid or a true NAS, but it's still giving quite a lot for an operating system, a true operating system. And we also have to acknowledge that they have volunteered that there's going to be paid entry into their NAS operating system next year in June, I think it's either June or July 2026. However, their paid entry point is going to be $29. They're still going to provide a free tier. And more importantly, the million users, they, well, they say it's a million people that have tested their software, have all automatically got access to the complete paid version. And as long as you download and install it before the June, July 2026 deadline, you will have the full paid experience at no extra cost. That makes sense to me. They've effectively given users years of unpaid, I'm oh, sorry, um, un uh, financially restricted access to that software and they're introducing a paid tier almost a year in advance of uh, letting people know almost a year in advance and it's an amount of money that I think although is surprisingly low and I wonder how that will cover the cost and I think a lot of you are just going to scream the word China at me still nonetheless they've done it in a way that I think the community is cool with. Contrast that to HexOS having no beta period and effectively people are paid beta users. They didn't even go down the road of a 30 day trial, which is you know something like TrueNAS, I'm sorry, I'm Unraid offers there. I understand in HexOS, one of the largest appeals of HexOS is ease of setup. And that's something a lot of users would knock out in that 30 day period anyway. Still, the, the inaccessibility of a, a trial of this software, a, beta or demo of this software, I think is hugely to the detriment of HexOS there. And again, I mentioned things they've done well because I didn't even touch on the fact that um, apparently some of the money that was raised for HexOS via that initial licensing has gone towards the development of any raid from what I understand. Now, that's good that it's going to be, you know, that money is going towards the development of a flexible raid system. But I think there are going to be users that wondered was that money not going to be spent on HexOS? And having that money going towards any rate is a good thing, but would not have um, HexOS benefited from it anyway? Because it's not going to be restricted to HexOS. John has already confirmed from a previous correspondence in the H2, uh, sorry, the Q2 update, that it's the, 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 the money they provided towards Unraid via OpenDFS is not you know not going to be a restricted feature in hex it's going to be widely available across the whole of open tfs which is absolutely fantastic but it still begs the question could that money not have been spent on bringing hex os forward a little bit could have been spent a little bit more on those client tools and ultimately i think a lot of users are still one year on looking at hex os and those that invested in hex os are going sort of wondering when the roi is going to truly hit and those that didn't back it and pay that initial $99 or $199. I don't think those users are going to be especially keen on paying $299 and aren't exactly feeling buyer's, um, the, the opposite of buyer's remorse right now. I think HexOS is good. I think HexOS is necessary. And I will continue to talk about it because I think there is a market for it. But I do think the way it has been rolled out the last year of updates is not 
eye-catching to the kind of user that they are targeting in a way that I think that it could be. And yes, it's good they're nailing the fundamentals. It's damn good they're nailing down the fundamentals because let's face it, putting all the features on some rickety bridge OS would have been awful. But there needs to be more. And if there isn't going to be more, they need to make the entry a damn sight lower. And also, if by the time you're watching this, because you know, I don't know when this video will be published, God forbid they do another Black Friday promo at $99. Because if they do that, my God, there's going to be a lot of people that paid $199 who are going to be furious. But apart from that, this has been Hex OS one year later. Ultimately, I really want to talk to you guys about it because I, I do like Hex OS. But I do think the messaging perhaps could be better. Um, thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the raid room today and I'll see you next time.